Welcome to the little homework for lesson eight. This is module six of second grade. Name here first, please. And it says create an array with the squares. So we're going to have here, we're going to have one, two, three rows, right? Because the lines are separating the rows. Three rows. So let's see. That means there's going to be three in each column. So how many columns can I have? One, two, three, four columns. So it's going to be and here's my fourth group of three there. And now an array with the same set of squares. So I've got one, two, three, and I'm going to have, now I'm going to have instead of rows of four, I'm going to have columns of four. Use the array of squares to answer the questions below for A, B, C, and D. There are how many squares in each row? One, two, three, four, five, five in each row. And there's three rows, so that's three fives. Five, ten, fifteen. How many squares are in each column? There's one, two, three in each column. And then we, that means we're going to have five threes. And it's still going to equal 15 because it's the same array. So it's, whether you're looking at rows or columns, it's going to total 15 squares. Use the array of squares to answer the questions below. How many squares are in one row? There's two. How many squares are in one column? There's one, two, three, four, there's five. So here I have two add-ins. So that means I am adding two fives. I'm adding the columns. Five plus five equals ten. Because if I had two twos, it would only equal four. It wouldn't be the whole array. It would only add up to four instead of the ten that we have. So two columns of five, right? Because that's a column of five and there's a column of five, is the same as rows of how many rows of two five rows i'll do this five rows of two and they both equal the same 10. draw an array with 15 squares that has three squares in each column okay so if there's three squares in a column you could just start by drawing the first column with three squares in it. Be careful, don't start drawing a row with three. This is a column, it says column. So this is one of those things where it's just, you gotta slow down and make sure you're making a column here. So there's three squares in each column. I need 15 squares, so that's three. And you may already know how many columns you need. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Now write a repeated addition equation to match the array. Well, we're counting columns here. So I'm going to go with columns. Are, there's three in each column. So I'm going to go with threes. So that's one, two. How many columns do I have? I have five. So that's three. I need three fives. And we know it equals 15 squares because it told us right in the very beginning. Now draw an array with 20 squares that has five squares in each column. So you might have to go over here to have enough room to do that. I'm going to draw my first column of five. Five. And this will be ten. 15, 
20. Just slow down a little bit and make sure you have an array that has rows and columns and all the squares are pretty much the same size. And, you'll, and that'll be a good enough picture. Um, but neatness counts with arrays. It's all about being organized in rows and columns. All right, so I have that. Five squares in each column, 20 squares. Repeated addition equation to match the array. So that's uh, fives, right? So it's four fives I need. Five plus five plus five plus five, and of course equals 20 because we knew that before we even started drawing it. And this is draw a tape diagram to match your repeated addition equation and array. So looking at this equation, this is going to make, I just need a, a tape diagram with four fives in it, right? And that's all you really have to have. I like to do this just to show that from one end to the other, it's 20.